and Travis, we are gathered here today to celebrate the drawing together of two lives. We've come so that Travis and Christina can be united in marriage. This is not a commitment to be entered into lightly, but instead with a sense of certainty and reverence. As you all know, I am here today to see that the legal aspects of this marriage ceremony are completed. However, Christina and Travis, it is only the two of you that can make this marriage. You begin with a mutual commitment to love one another. Use this love to build an atmosphere of care and consideration. Continue to admire each other's strengths. Continue to accept with understanding each other's weaknesses. Continue to respect your individual outlooks. While you will have many wonderful experiences together, there are times when something great will happen when the other is not present. What is important is that you share all of your experiences with each other. Talk to each other. Listen to what the other has to say. Reveal your hopes and your dreams. It is only then that you can work together to reach common goals. The intimacy which this creates will make your marriage come alive. Today a vast unknown future stretches out before all of us. The joys and sorrows of that future are today hidden from your eyes. It is a great tribute to the faith you have in each other that you are willing to meet these uncertainties together. May the love with which you join your hands and hearts today never fail you, but grow stronger and sure with each passing year. Now if you will face each other and hold hands, we will have the exchange of vows. <coughs> Travis, you can repeat after me first. I, Travis, love and cherish you, Christina. I, Travis, love and cherish you, Christina. For being all that you are. For being all that you are. And all that you will be. And all that you will be. Know that I am here for you. Know that I am here for you. In times of doubt. In times of doubt. I will provide trust. I will provide trust. In times of need, in times of need, I will provide care. I will provide care. At all times, at all times, I will provide my love. I will provide my love. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. For so long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I, Christina, love and cherish you, Travis. I, Christina, love and cherish you, Travis. For being all that you are. And all that you will be. Know that I am here for you. In times of doubt, I will provide trust. In times of need, I will provide care. At all times, I will provide my love. I choose you to be my husband for so long as we both shall live. Someone have some rings here today? I'm going to say a few things about rings and then I will have you exchange them. The perfect circle of a ring symbolizes eternity. It is my hope that if you give and receive these rings today, your love will be as everlasting and precious as they are. Today these rings will show to the world the special relationship 
which you now share. In the future, they will remind you of the significance of the commitment you are making here today. May you always be as happy in keeping this commitment as you are today in making it. Now, Travis, if you'd repeat after me as you slowly place the ring on her finger. This ring symbolizes our union. This ring symbolizes our union. For today. For today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And all the years to come. And all the years to come. You are now my life partner. You are now my life partner. You are now my wife. You are now my wife. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. This ring symbolizes our union for today, tomorrow, and all the years to come. You are now my life partner. You are now my husband. With this ring, I be wed. Travis and Christina, I must remind you, as I remind everyone present, that marriage, by its very nature, is fragile. A single thoughtless act or unkind word to damage in way, a marriage in ways which may be difficult, if not impossible, to repair. Knowing that marriage must be carefully nourished, if it is to be permanent, remember to treat each other with the love and respect that will show to all who meet you that this is the love of your lives. Christina and Travis, having heard your vows of love and faith, I call us to the meeting, and my personal pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. I introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, Travis and Christina Duquette. <laughs> 